Went to the complete list of Funko Chases for 2019. Well, stay tuned. I'm about to show you all the Funko Pops that the Funko Pop Chases that were released for 2019. This is the complete lot, the complete list. There's over 35 chases that I've collected into this episode of Funko News. So for the best and latest uh, Funko News, make sure to subscribe to Funko Pop Stars. Hit the bell so you don't miss out on my next video. So like I said, this edition of Funko News has the best pop chases, the worst pop chases. And so when you go on your next chase pop hunt, you can take this with you and you can look for these or be on the lookout for pops that may that uh, may have these. So let's get right into this episode Funko News. So these are some WWE pops that are releasing soon. Uh, WWE Funko Pops. I'm not a huge WWE fan. I used to be uh, as a kid, but one of my buddies He's definitely looking out for these because he loves WWE. So make sure to be on the lookout for these. These are coming out soon if they haven't released it yet. But they got two coming out. So these are these are pretty fantastic. I do like the look of these. And the glow in the dark one especially. And then we have some Batman. Uh, these are some DC Chase Funko Pops. These are the gamer ones. And these are pretty sweet. I love the uh, the Batman one. It looks really, really good, really well. But I like the Joker even better. So in the the gamer box. So at first I didn't really, I didn't know what to think of these. But these are on my list for some of the best pop chases of 2019. So good job Funko for producing some cool, cool chases. So these are the Major League uh, Chase Pop. This is a, it's not really a baseball. Chase Funko Pop, but it's still it's still up there. It's still pretty cool. I like how the glasses and the skull in the middle. This is a this is a unique chase. Some of these on the list that our chases aren't that great, but this one's not too bad. So be on the lookout for that one. And then here's a Sarah Connor chase from the Terminator Terminator Chase Funko Pop. This is pretty cool. I wish they would make one for Arnold as well. That would be sweet. I'm, I mean, I'm sure they will, but uh, this we only got uh, Sarah Connor for this one as the uh, as the Terminator lines coming out, Dark Fate. So it's not a bad one. I like it. Uh, it's not too different, but it's still it's still not a bad bad chase. This is my favorite Rick and Morty pop Funko Pop as far as um, what they've made so made so far. The Teddy Rick Rick chase. This one's pretty sweet. It. The blood coming out of the teddy. It's a sweet pop. That's why Funko's is not really for kids. It's mainly an adult line, but this is fantastic. This is one of my favorite. This is one of the best pop chases they released this year. Here's another one that's fantastic a Dragon Ball Z Funko Pop. This one I haven't gotten. I wish I could get this one. The PX previews. And this one, it just looks great. I love the glow in the dark chases the the most out of all the ones that they release. And then here's a Black Mirror one. I don't watch this show, but the one on the bottom right is the chase. It's a little bit different. It looks meaner than the one on the bottom left. Uh, but I don't watch this show, but if you do watch Black Mirror, then you can definitely go pick this one up. It's not this one's like in the middle for me. It's not like a worse. It's not a worse. Chase, and, uh, but it's not like one of my favorite ones that I've seen because um, if I didn't know about this show I probably wouldn't be picking this one up and then here's uh, Borderlands 3 this is definitely one of my this is one of the best pop chases they released for me uh, because it's a Borderlands pop Maya this thing is awesome and definitely need to be picking this one up if you haven't yet and I pick a lot of my pops up from eBay and then this obviously a lot of you guys know is my favorite comedy TV show and I don't have the chase of this one I'm looking for this one it's the Jim Halpert uh, chase Funko Pop this thing is fantastic I don't have any uh, chase pop vinyls or chase pop pezzes on this it's just strictly chase pops so if you guys are looking for that I mean I can do that just let me know in the comments if you want me to put a line line like that together then here's a Steve Irwin pop. He's the chase is obviously the one with the turtle, and I wish they would have done it the other way, but it's not a bad one. I, I do I do like this one. It's a cool pop if you're a Steve Irwin fan. I mean, he's been gone for a while now, but I, I used to watch his shows shows as a kid all the time. I love this pop, this chase pop. 
And then here's, I believe this is Ben and Pool from the uh, Deadpool Funko Pop line, or, but this came from Pop in the Box exclusive. And this is not, this is not bad. I would love to have both of these, but you have to be a pop in the, or you can get it off eBay if you want, but you need to be a pop in the box member to get, to have got this one. But this is definitely a cool one. They only flip the colors, but it works for this pop. Usually that's a lazy design, but it really does work for this, for this chase. And then we have the Eeyore Diamond Collection. This one was a Hot Topic exclusive. This one was nuts when it first came out. I think it, you, it's still pretty pricey, but I'm, I don't collect Winnie the Pooh, but I do like this this chase. This is a good this is a good one. And here is one that I do own. It's a Dragon Ball Z Funko Pop Broly from Galactic Toys. Obviously, the one on the right. This thing is fantastic. The one on the right is actually at my house back in the states. I have the one on the left here, um, right there. But uh, I do have a Chase Funko Pop. I was never able to make a video on it, but this thing is fantastic. I do, I do love this one. And then we have the Dark. This is one of my first chases that I got for this year. It was the Dark Phoenix X-Men Funko Pop chase. This thing is great too. The glow on this is one of the best, if not the best glow on a chase, if you are looking for this one. So if you can get this one for a good deal, I would definitely pick this one up. This is one of the uh, best pop chases that, that I, I'm showing today. I think it's the, uh, this one's probably my favorite out of all of them. This is definitely my second favorite. And then Mr. Bean, another classic one. The one was holding the teddy bear. That's just a great pop. And uh, this chase is definitely a mess for all Mr. Bean. His comedy is different, but it's, it's still great comedy. And then this one goes down as one of the worst Funko Pops. I have that on my, my last video. If you haven't seen my last video about the worst Funko Pops of this year, you need to go watch it. This one is the worst pop chase on this list by far. It's not a great pop. It's not a great look. But if you are collecting chases, you definitely be on the lookout on eBay or something to pick this one up. Also guys, if you are watching this video and you don't see a chase on here let me know in the comments i thought i got them all i mean there was 35 plus chases on this list we're about halfway through right now but if you see if you don't see one on here make sure you let me know in the comments and i'm doing this video in november so there might they might be coming out with some chases in december but as far as i know these are this is like the the most complete list that we know of right now let me know in those comments and then here is one that's the the red one is the chase, but I love both of these pops. So if you picked up either one of these Disney Funko Pops, the um, Scar Funko Pop, this thing is insane. I love that both of those actually. If you if you got any of if you got any of those, it's still sweet looking pop. It looks like Scar. It's great. And then these are some NHL Funko Pops. I didn't really get a good picture on these, but it's Mario Loom. Lumix? I'm not an NHL. I don't collect NHL Funko Pops. I'm sorry. And then Mark Messier. So I'm sorry I couldn't get a better picture on those. But if you are NHL, if you do collect NHL Funko Pops, be on the lookout for these two. And then this one's Umbrella Academy. And I know they have another, the male version of the Umbrella Academy chase. I didn't get that one on here. I would I mean, mention that. If you watch the show, I watched the first couple episodes. It's not bad. It's just there's other shows I'm watching right now, like Peaky Blinders, so I mean, you gotta love Peaky Blinders, but this one's on Netflix, this show, I would definitely go check it out if you haven't, um, the Umbrella Academy show, it's a great chase, and then we have the Joker from something 5, Persona 5 or something, I don't watch this show, but this is a cool uh, pop, it's not, I mean, it's not that different, but it's a, still a cool, a cool look, and then we have Jay Balvin, uh, the the one on the right is the Chase, it's 50 bucks, whereas the one on the left is 25. I don't think this is a bad Funko Pop, but it's not worth 50 because they only change the hair on the Chase. And so now you're basically chasing the Chase. So yeah, don't do that. And then let's see, let's go to this one. They got a Speed Racer Chase. This one's cool. This one's probably one of the more unique ones because they changed a whole lot of stuff on this speed racer from the ears to the teeth and everything just looks menacing on this one 
This one's a good one. This one deserves to be a chase. There's some on this list that don't deserve to be chases, but what can you do? This one's Pluto from Us. And this one is, I didn't watch Us. And this was a creepy one, man. Like, it's creepy. I don't want it in my collection. I'm just kidding. But I, do, I have not seen this one uh, on the shelves. And I've not picked it, up, picked it up. But be on the lookout. If you watched Us and you liked it, then definitely be on the lookout for this one. This is Future Trunks from Hot Topic. This one's also a very cool looking one. The metallic one on the bottom there is the one that's the chase. So yeah, be, be on the lookout for that one. If you if you collect Dragon Ball uh, Z Funko Pops, which I do. And we're almost done, guys. So we got a couple more to go over. We have Zuku from Avatar. This one's not too different, but I I love Avatar, so I definitely, the one on the right is the one I would be picking up. It's a, it's a, good, it's a good Avatar pop, I think. So either one of those. There's, they're not, it's not that, they're not that different, but I still, I still pick it up. Nacho. I don't have the Nacho Chase. I have the regular Nacho. I'm on the, I'm on the prowl for the Nacho Chase Funko Pop. And so I love how they did the mask on that. I don't think it's a lazy pop. It's the same stance, but I do want the, my, this is my wife's favorite pop right here. And she had to pick one. This is, this is the one. And then we have Ty Webb. And the one with the blindfold on from Caddyshack. This is cool. It's they didn't do too much except put the blindfold on, but it's still a great. I think it's still a great look. And then I think we have a couple more. Angus Young from ACDC. They did a lot with this one from the hat to the uh, jacket and the pants. This one is great as far as how they changed up a lot of things. This is what they should do with all chases. They should make them all unique. A great one on the ACDC one. Woody the Woodpecker is holding a hammer. Nothing crazy with this one. This one's really cheap. You can get this one on eBay really cheaply. Um, not a bad one. Then Vivian Ward from Pretty Woman. I was, saw this movie a while ago. It's a really good movie. Uh, this one's worth picking up, I think. I haven't picked it up, but it's a good one to pick up and add to the collection. And then another one of my favorites. This is another best pop chase for. 2019 it is the Mugatu Chase where he's holding a little puppy. It's a great one. Uh, they didn't do too much except add the puppy, but uh, it Gotta give it to him. That was great thinking on their part. I love this one And then this one you can't see but it's Romero uh, Romeo and Juliet um, but uh, I Couldn't get a great picture on this one, but if you are on the prowl for this one He has a different t-shirt and then gun just like pointing down like that so it's kind of weird but it works we have another disney funko pop from princess and the frog this is the i can't remember the name of this guy but the difference in this is that it glows and that's it so if you're wondering what it does the chase glows and other than that there's nothing unique about this one and then we have trebek from wheel of fortune no, no, sorry. This is Jeopardy. This is Jeopardy, yeah. So they did a lot with the hair and the look on this one. If you watch Jeopardy, this is a great one to pick up. And then you have the Goose from Captain Marvel. This one's a creepy one too, but this is a this one's a cheap chase that you could pick up if you if you wanted it. This is Gomez Adams from the Adams Family, and how he's holding the uh, the sword and. I used to watch the Adam Family, so this is one I'm looking for. Hello Kitty, 8-Bit. I want this one for my daughter, like this is cool. Uh, I like how they changed the, it's just that little piece in there, like the heart and then whatever that other, I don't know what that other thing is. I never watched Hello Kitty, but this is a cool, it's a cool pop in Japan. They love Hello Kitty here. And so yeah, this concludes my episode of Funko News for the 2019 uh, Chase list. So this was the complete list as far as I know. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you subscribe, like, comment, and I appreciate it guys. You guys make my day when you guys uh, watch my videos. It always helps me out. So I do appreciate it guys. If you guys stayed all the way through, then 
for sure you gotta give me that like and that comment and yeah like i said if you're new definitely subscribe hit that bell so you don't miss out on my next video i will see you guys next time peace